Alright, I'm back in RuneScape 3, baby, because uh, I was playing was playing the old school RuneScape, as you've probably seen, um, and I want to play RuneScape 3 again. I'm going to try and play them side by side. One's probably inevitably going to dominate my attention. It's probably going to be RuneScape 3. I'm really going to try and keep up old school RuneScape because me and Rusa are doing group Iron Man and I don't want to abandon him. Oh, hi, Death. Oh, you have a spooky shop. I love this. Oh, this is going to be a fun event. I've set up a spooky shop. And so I do find various spooky theme rewards. Brand new spooky tokens. <laughs> oh my god, he's given me a spooky token. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> this is a silly game. If this was a true legacy cosmetics tab, it would let me have the Death Hood from the 2007 event. Still kind of sad I don't have that on any of my RS3 accounts. Damn, look at all my feathers. I can make arrows for fucking days. I've got some decent arrowheads as well. Sorry, you have to understand, coming from old school, this is like, <laughs> this is pretty magical. Okay, so it gives me divination and rune crafting XP, that's interesting. I assume you get like 10 times this on non-Iron Man accounts. <laughs> it's this fucking fallen solar cabbage, it feels like I've fallen into boiling water. <laughs> fucking old school RuneScape's Iron Man challenge makes RuneScape 3's Iron Man feel like you're just playing RuneScape 3. Tell Death the good news. Death. Good news, it's Terminal. Ah, oh, I've got the title Iron Man Iron Critigree now. I need to change my title, that looks dumb. Alright, so he gave me Death's Hood as a cosmetic override. I doubt it's the 2007 version. I would cry if it was, because I love that override. Hey, I'll tell you what though, it's not bad, is it? It's like a modern Death's Hood. Ah, it seems Death has finally found someone sent our way. Who are you, adventurer? I'm Iron Critigree. Pleased to meet you, I'm Luna, and this is Greg and Ed. We're travellers from Canifis. Oh, sorry for murdering your entire families. Fine, Luna. She's a real lunatic. <laughs> uh, don't tell her I said that, she'll eat me. Oh, it gives you Slayer XP as well? Okay, I'll take it! Hello, Master. It's such a pleasure to meet you! That voice, it's like a hundred pups squealing in unison. Why does this fucking sword sound like that? Also, good lord, I hope I get the appearance. Werewolves are such meanies, but they're so fluffy! And their flesh tastes so sweet. Destroy that thing now. You can't get rid of me, silly. You need me. It's not wrong, Greg. Damn it. What are you, anyway? I'm Arteria. Teehee. Arteria the bloodletting blade. <laughs> but Teehee really sold the ferocity. Yay, you do get it as a cosmetic override. I mean, it would be kind of dumb if you didn't, right? But look at it. It's fucking cool. I'm Ed, but you can just call me Ed. <laughs> That's fucking comedic genius right there. I need to go and fucking catch raw shrimp. Jesus, what is this? 2000 fucking two? For half a second, I honestly thought it was going to tell me I needed a net to fish here. <laughs> Old school's ruined me. Where's the challenges interface again? Oh, for fuck's sake! I did it again. I opened the fucking window again. Get out of here. Ugh. What's the matter? Oh, I've only gone and lost Death's one and only dog. I was taking him for his usual walk and he took off into the manor. I'm too scared to go in there. What am I to do? I could go and look for you. Really? Would you do that for me? Uh, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> we still have a terrible problem with local out, so poisoning my fish, spilling my compost all over the place and causing a nuisance for the deer count. Uh, I think... I'm sure a nice young sort like you won't be any trouble, though. In any case, the professor will soon share the secret of chickenization with me. Not that I'd use it these days, of course. I have to go now. <laughs> that's funny. Pet the cat. Ow! Fucking rude cat. Uh, that's new. What's this interdimensional rift? I kind of want to go through it. Looks like this is a slayer dungeon. Interesting. I already found these bones. Oh, they don't disappear when you find them? Motherfucker. I've got two more sets of bones to find. I literally can't find them anywhere. More tooth marks. I feel a sense of insurmountable dread. Easter Bunny, is that you? Santa? Guy who said he'd trim my armor for free? Oh, that's a deep cut. Oh, well, I guess I tried, and now I can get out of this spooky place. 
Oh my god, that is adorable. Please tell me I get him as a pet. There's something behind me, isn't there? Sorry, I know I'm supposed to be spooked and terrified right now, but this doggo is adorable. Ah, you found him. I'm not gonna die. Again, about that. Oh, little muncher, don't ever scare me like that again. Muncher barks happily. Such a good little doggy. Let me give you a treat. Muncher's eyes light up. Who's a good boy? Who's a good b- uh Oh. What now? I'm out of treats. Oh. Where can I find treats? Well, like any little skeletal dog, he's quite partial to bones. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is so cute. So close. So close. Wow, this new archaeology skill is quite something. <gasps> Munch a pet, 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 munch a pet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's so cute. I'm gonna fucking die. Munchy, mun muncher. There he is. Cool pet. Yes. Oh my god. Look at him. It's muncher. We get muncher. He has an emote. What's the emote? <gasps> he rolls over. Oh my god, what a good boy. Oh my god, look at him. He jumps up and back. Oh, I'm so happy. Have some tokens. Oh, 10 spooky tokens per bones. Yeah, I'm never doing that again. Let's go talk to Pestilence, see what he wants. Isn't he fucking happy enough with the last year and a half he's had on Earth? Jesus Christ. How can I help? My body is riddled with disease. Each day I struggle with this unending pain. Dude, what a fucking mood. This world does not understand my suffering. I must create a plague. Others must suffer as I do. What? It is the only way. Uh, no, I'm not going to help you develop a plague. Sarah, can I buy your onions, please? She has no fucking onions. I thought Sarah would be... A shop nobody went to, but actually she's a very busy shop. Please just have onions in stock. My god! Sorry, ignore me. I forgot. You could probably just fucking nick someone else's onions. Who is this soup for? Oh, you know. The homeless. Orphans. Homeless orphans. A twisted grin appears on Pestilence's face. Can I try some? I'd rather you didn't. I need you to keep working. Ah, so you're saying it's so good that if I ate some, I'd probably eat so much I'd need to take a nap, right? Let's say that. I like that we're literally making plague in this event. As if the world doesn't have enough plague. I can't really be asked to grind all those spooky tokens, so I think I'm just gonna get the weapons. Because if I remember right, the Ring of War, Death, Famine, and Pestilence just turns you into. Uh, polymorphs you into those dudes, but you can't move or do anything, so there's kind of no point. So if the game looks slightly different to you, I've cranked the settings down to low and upped the draw distance a bit. Uh, because for whatever reason, RuneScape 3 was making my CPU, or sorry, my GPU, temperature skyrocket to like 70 degrees. Which is crazy, because this doesn't seem like a very GPU intensive game, right? But, I don't know, fuck me, I guess, like, probably is because my fucking PC's from 2016 and it's dying. Okay, looks like I can have it with uh, a little bit further draw distance. There must just be some setting. It was running it on super ultra settings, um, and when I tried to do the auto setup, it told me that's what I could run it on. I guess I can technically run it on that with very little problems, but it's kind of problematic doing so. What a fucking sentence. I should probably be looting everything. Oh, that's right, the auto loot. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm, love it. Hey, level 55 magic, my dude. I can yeah. high alk shit now. Miss Green said I should do my high alking in Grand Exchange to be like, yeah, I'm making money in the Grand Exchange. <laughs> As an How island. do I do it? How's he doing it? Crazy. Let's make some fucking dough. I'll be able to buy all the feather packs I'll ever need with this kind of dough. I started my high alking at 60k. I finished at 238k. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Got some dough. Can I pick pocket farmers? Hell yeah. What are you doing in my pockets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fucking old school RuneScape soundtrack just came on. <laughs> Amazing. This is weird hearing the old soundtrack and looking at the new game. It feels wrong somehow. <laughs> Instead of using my loyalty points on auras like I should be doing, I just spent them all on the replica metal plate sets again because <laughs> I like them too much. We're playing old school RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> like. Yeah, in RuneScape Re 3. <laughs> I want them in RuneScape 3 as well. Nearly an hour of leveling smithing and fletching later. Alright, I could probably have leveled range several times during all of that, but hey, now I can finally level ranged quote unquote efficiently. Oh, I don't know if I made a clip of this yet, because uh, I did it while I was talking to Reese. Uh, I used my oddments as well, but I used my oddments to get this outfit, uh, this outfit, uh, this outfit, I think that's it. 
Uh, yeah, that looks like it's it. But yeah, I use my loyalty points to get those three outfits because I think they look pretty cool. Not loyalty points! Fucking oddments! God damn it! Give me that smithy! Bonus XP! Skadoosh! Bonus XP on an Iron Man? It's more likely than you'd think. What's going on here? Oh, it's terrible! Lord Sinclair has been murdered and we don't have any clues as to who or why. We're totally baffled! If you can help us, we will be very grateful, random stranger off the streets that we've never met. Um, yeah, sure. Oh my god, that's where the sheaf unsheaf weapon options are? What the fuck? That's so fucking out there. Uh, who do you think is responsible? Well, in my considered opinion, it must be David. The man is nothing more than a bully, and I happen to know- The fucking butler did it. It was Hobbs. I'm calling it now. Who do you think is responsible? Elizabeth. Her father confronted her about her constant petty thieving, and it was devas and was devastated to find she had stolen a silver needle, which had meant a lot to him. You could hear the argument from Lumbridge. So she fucking murdered him about it? I don't think so, Louisia. Where were you when the murder happened? In the library. No one else was there, so you'll have to take my word for it. Oh, okay, that's a good alibi. Where were you when the murder happened? That is none of your business. <laughs> I think it is! The door was found to be locked from the inside and he seemed to have been stabbed, but there was an odd smell in the room. Frankly, I'm stumped. Maybe he pooed himself when he died. I've heard people do that. Who do you think was responsible? I don't know. You don't know how long it takes an inheritance to come through, do you? I could use that money pretty soon. This is the one that the game's like, hey, we want you to think he's the one who did it because he has a clear motive. And it says remember to blow out candles when you leave a room to save energy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who do you think was responsible? I don't know. I think it's very convenient that you have arrived here so soon after it happened. Maybe it was you. Fucking stellar detective work, Carol. Where were you when the murder happened? I was walking by myself in the garden. And can anyone vouch for that? No. But I was. This is the most thrilling episode of Midsummer Murders. Where's this poison Sullivan? Also, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> it's a bit on the nose to be a poison seller, right? Like, oh, the poison seller's visiting. Oh, does anyone want to buy some poison? It's like, I, I feel like he would be more of like an apothecary type, but it's like, oh, you know, I do medicines and stuff. But if you need something on the side. Ah, poison salesman. I could identify you by the fact that you have a name above your head that says poison salesman. I'm investigating the murder at the Sinclair house. There was a murder at the Sinclair house? That's terrible. And I was only there the other day, too. They bought the last of my patented multi purpose poison. Well, what did you fucking think was going to happen, dude? So incredibly versatile it can be used as pest control, a cleansing agent, drain cleaner, metal polish, and washes whiter than white. All with a uniquely fragrant concoction that is immediately recognisable across the land as Peter Potter's patented poison potion. Uh, the salesman stops for breath. I'd love to sell you some, but I've sold out recently. That's just how good it is. These 128 people in the area alone cannot be wrong. 9 out of 10 poisoners prefer it in control tests. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Anna, Bob, Carol, David, Elizabeth, and Frank all bought a bottle. In fact, they bought the last of my supplies. Maybe I can take your name and address and I will personally come and visit you when stocks return? Uh, no, it's okay. Are they all a murderer? <laughs> Is just the entire house the murderer? You showed a poison salesman the pot you found at the murder scene with the unusual smell. Hmm, yes, that smells exactly like my patented multi-purpose poison, but I don't see how it could be. It quite clearly says on the label of all the bottles not to be taken internally. EXTREMELY POISONOUS! Ah, well, that puts a pin in that particular line of questioning then, doesn't it? Do you recognise this thread? You show him the thread you found on the study window. It's some green thread like my trousers are made of. Are you finished? I'm not sure what I dislike more about you, your face or your general bad odour. Oh my god! Do you recognise this thread? It looks like Fred to me. <laughs> Thanks, Frank! Hanford has let his compost heap fester. It's an eyesore to the garden. So I bought some poison from a travelling salesman so that I could kill off some of the wildlife living in it. Huh. Is that so? Compost is teeming with maggots. Somebody should really do something about it. It's certainly clear nobody's used poison here. That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? So you've got the green trousers. You lied about the poison. I'm on to you, Anna. Okay, so the only one who's lying about what they used the poison for is Anna. Interesting. It was clearly an intruder or one of our ladies. Yeah, Anna's the fucking murderer. It's fucking Anna. It's so obvious it's Anna. I know who did it. Uh, I also have proof that it wasn't any of the servants uh, because of his thread at the window. All the servants dressed in black, so it couldn't have been one of them. Yes, I had definitely figured that out myself. That's some good work there. I guess it well, isn't a servant. You still haven't proved who did it, though. 
It's fucking Anna! It's so obviously Anna! Hmm. Alright, maybe let's... Oh, search Anna's barrel. It's named, so there's gonna be something in there, right? I don't know why Anna's silver necklace is important. Ah, okay, you need to pick up a bunch of silver items, apparently. That's kind of obtuse. I'm not entirely sure why. Is this gonna turn out to be a werewolf mystery or something? If there's silver involved, it's probably werewolves, right? I need seven. This is why you never do a quest without fucking guides. Because it seems like, oh, I can solve this, and then you really fucking can't because it's so obtusely designed. Use a flower on a criminal's dagger, then use a dagger on a piece of flypaper to get an unknown print. Yeah, I would never have fucking figured this out myself. Sorry, didn't think I'd need to fucking dust for fingerprints in RuneScape. Weirdly, the guide says I need to present uh, the guard with prints or the poison salesman won't appear in the pub in Sears Village. I've just disproved that. We've met the poison seller. Oh, Anna's print matches, huh? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure I know who fucking did it. I have conclusive goddamn proof. You proved to the guard that Fred matches Anna's clothes. Yes, I have to agree with that, but we need more evidence. You proved to the guard that Anna did not use poison on the compost heap. Excellent work, but have you considered a career as a detective? But I'm afraid it's still not quite enough. You match Anna's fingerprints with those on the dagger found in the body of Lord Sinclair, which we just proved wasn't the murder weapon, but sure, that works too. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Please accept this reward from the family. Yay, I did it. I solved the murder, and I did the thing. I want to go talk to Anna now. Fuck you, Anna. Apparently, you aren't as stupid as you look. Oh, is that it? <laughs> okay. Thank you for your help in solving the murder. What, no one's, like, horrified that it was Anna? You know? Like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Thank you for all your help in solving the murder. Wow, such an innocent girl. Apparently, you aren't as stupid as you look. Such an innocent girl murdered her own father. How horrible. Apparently, you aren't as stupid as you look. Okay, sure. That's three quest points, I guess. Let's go.